Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius and Pisces energy. So uh, we had a uh, earth energy here with the page of pentacles as well. Page of pentacles, queen of pentacles, both earth, earth energy. I'm already having a hard time talking. Clarify the ten of wands. Awakening. Mm. Ooh, somebody's about to um, spill their guts here. Yep. Somebody's about to spill their guts because somebody has been holding on, holding back. Like harboring, having all these feelings and emotions for you, but not telling you, not expressing them. And it's like, they're in this, they're feeling like they're about to explode or they cannot hold back any longer. Okay. So somebody is about to give in. Was somebody being stubborn? Was somebody not wanting, was trying to fight having to do this, but it's like, it's just becoming too much. Clarify the page of pentacles. So you guys could be receiving some type of good news or communication from somebody. Hmm. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. Mm. Hmm. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune, the Hanged Man. Some somebody's having a change in perspective here. What is mirroring? What is Page of Pentacles and mirroring? The Magician. Hmm. You guys both want some type of newbie. Maybe you guys are both desiring to communicate with one another or something like that. Because that's what you want wants you. So it's like the feelings are mutual here. Okay, tell me more about it. Yeah, the, yeah, you guys maybe both view each other as wish fulfillment or you make each other happy and fulfilled. But why is rejection here? But they've been resist. Okay, so Spirit wants to assure you that even if this person has been maybe being very egotistical and stubborn and resisting this connection, their higher self does want like whatever you want it with this person they do want it like but it's like they've definitely been re resisting this um oof, seven of swords on the back of the deck somebody did something deceptive here they possibly ghosted you left you waiting tell me about the re well, tell me more about rejection forbidden so somebody feels like you are oh it's, has somebody been trying to um you you know what's been going on here is like I feel like they've been stubborn, me being stubborn and wanting you to come towards them. Like but they've not been wanting to come towards you. What about forbidden? Karmic. Ooh, see, here we go. What about karmic partner? Divine timing. What does karmic partner have to do with my collective? See, manifesting you. What's that do with karmic partner? Dark night of the soul. It's time. Some of you guys were starting to think that this person was a karmic or that they weren't your person, but well, all that it was was that this person was just not in alignment with you. This is your person. They're just, they haven't been ready. <laughs> Why is forbidden here, though? Eight of Wands and the Empress. Oof. Okay. Some type of, what is this illusion or uncertainty? I feel like this person is afraid that you're going to reject them. They do see you as their person. This person is, like, feeling a lot of feelings and emotions right now. They're feeling very emotional when it comes to you right now. But they're kind of feeling like maybe they can't come towards you or huh? they're wishing for you. But they kind of feel like either there's their fam family and friends don't approve or there's still maybe some differences there. But it's more so like 
they're afraid of rejection that they feel like they can't like maybe there's a possibility that they can't have you anymore or something like that we have sexual encounter Ooh, see yeah this person slept with a karmic guys i'm telling you they did something they were exposed. You found out about something. I think you guys found out that this person slept with somebody. Like they, yeah. They had somebody that they were like friends with benefits with. It was strictly sexual. It was lust. Like they acted on like some type of temptation or something like that. They did. Yeah, especially with forbidden fruit here or forbidden. Yeah, they did something that they, they cheated on you. Yep, they betrayed you. They regret it though. Why did they do this? When they had an empress, this person is kind of feeling some dumb right now, guys, because they, 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 I don't know if it's just hit them or if they already knew and like, they're just like their feelings and is intensifying at this time, but they're feeling dumb because they could have cheated on you or slept with a karmic person. And you're, the, and they, they cheated on the empress or the emperor and that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Queen of wands. So they just, they thought this person was attractive. Or they thought that this person was like something that something about sexual with this person. This person was, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, but that's over. They don't view this person as attractive anymore. <laughs> that's changed. They used to think this person was like sexy or appealing in some way. I don't know, but that's over now. Hmm. What's this have to do with my collective though? Feeling of yeah. One more. They said they kept you waiting. Or maybe this person is trying to hope that she'll come back, but yeah, see, mm -mm. see, four of pentacles. This person was maybe trying to have you and this other person. Like this person was trying to keep you waiting while they were also still holding on to somebody that they were like, had a sexual connection with. I don't know. It's something weird. What does the eight of cups mean for my collective? Yeah, they walked away from you. Because they were not wanting to be vulnerable with you. And they walked away into what? Uh, see, they somebody they were they were at date. Temperance. What about temperance? Ace of Wands. What's, children. Unawakened. This person wasn't sure about you. Could be an earth sign you guys are dealing with, definitely. Especially with the Queen of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person wants to have something stable and committed with you now. Yeah, wanting to conquer fear of losing you. Yeah, they feel like losing you would be a missed opportunity. And they're really up in their head about this. This person feels like you get a lot of attention. Mm. So, I definitely feel like this person betrayed you. I do feel like they cheated on you. motivation for that spirit what was their motivation or were they just being dumb see whatever it is whatever they did to you this keeps coming out they're in heavy regret over it grieving breakup loss regret sadness why did they do it then see this keeps coming out i swear guys this person was trying to have their cake and eat it too what about temperance sagittarius energy ripped apart vulnerable in love love exposed the truth did they realize something? It's like because they do have something genuine with you. Like there's genuine feelings and emotions there. It made them realize something about. Yeah, forbidden. There's something here. Differences. What about forbidden? It's like they ate the apple. That they, they fell into temptation. See, what about Empress? Is somebody also. Oh, you know what's about to happen? Oh. Yep, this person wants to come in and try to offer you something stable now, but they're about they're gonna be in heavy regret, or they already are, because this person's gonna try to reconcile with you, try to balance the scales with you. But you guys may they may not have the opportunity to do that anymore. Or for some of you, they have like people around them that don't approve of this connection with you, but it's more so like they view you as the per your their person now, and they view you. They're, they're feeling very vulnerable at this time and they, they're they very clear about how they feel about you. But I feel like this person is feeling like they won't be able to have the opportunity. Yeah, because they were being deceptive. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Yeah, they've been hiding these feelings and emotions for you. 
Yeah, nine of swords, but it's been stressed. They regret it, and it's been stressing them out. It's been burdening them. Ten of wands. This person has a fear of showing emotions or vulnerability. So now what? There's a tower moment here. The divine's intervening. Unexpected events. Scorpio energy. In what way? Six of pentacles. The hermit. What about the hermit? Virgo energy. The lovers. Gemini energy. Someone's making a decision. They've been doing a lot of thinking, and they've, yeah, King of Swords, someone's made a decision to do what? The devil. What about the devil? Capricorn energy, taming their hunger. Ooh, see, I'm telling you guys, this person has been trying to decide if they're ready to let go of this addiction, this toxic habit, this lust, their lustful player, whatever it is. They've been trying to make up their mind about whether or not they're ready to let go of this. So it's either like a connection with one person that they've been not, want, not sure if they want to let go of or it's just they, they sleep around a lot. They, they are promiscuous or something like that. And they've been trying to decide if they want to either give you an equal give and take or if they want to continue to be in this toxicity. Yeah, taming a player, trying to resist temptation. Yeah. So, yeah, this person has like a sex addiction or something, guys. They have some type of addiction and they've been trying to decide, like, am I ready to not to, to be done with that? Am I ready to be done with that and actually give the collective something balanced and reciprocal? And it's like they are making up their mind about it. They're they're making a decision here. Could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius for some of you. Yep. And they're deciding that they want a steady union. Ace of Pentacles. Yep. Yep. But see that Queen of Swords though. <sighs> this is gonna have they're trying they're gonna want to try to they're gonna want you back and they're trying to they're trying to raise their vibration to be like more on your level. But there's gonna <sighs> This is not anything that's going to happen right away because you guys are very guarded towards this person. And it's because they cheated on you. I feel like this person was possibly doing this while y'all were together. Like, I mean, obviously if they cheated on you, they did. But they were maybe doing this like for a while. And then you guys found out about it or something like that. And it's like, mm, I don't know if you guys are ever, you're going to be able to trust this person. I mean, if it is the person you're supposed to be with, it, you know, it, it'll work out some way or another. But I just don't see you guys opening up to this person very easily anymore. They betrayed you in some way. Even if you weren't in a full-blown relationship with this person, they weren't keeping it a secret from you that they had other options or that they were sleeping with other people. They were trying to make it seem like you were the only one that they were focused on. Like you guys couldn't have you guys could have not even established that you guys were full blown together and dating and like boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever. But they you guys were just thinking that you and this person were working towards something. Meanwhile, they're out there sleeping around and acting on their lustful lustful desires like you know what i mean so yeah and they were like trying to keep this from you hmm interesting so what else do they need to know about this much it's gonna be like the boy that cried wolf or like how do you want to say so much that but it's like somebody is wanting something steady they've made up their mind finally but it's like now they've just done so much and they know they've done a lot that's why they're kind of worried to come towards you with this offer because if they get rejected they're not gonna handle that very well they're not that yeah that's not what they're wanting so so we have free spirit we have lone wolf so what does that have to do with anything what does Lone Wolf have to do with anything? The Grim Reaper. So, what's this mean for my collective? Is this you guys? Is this my collective? Perfect match. See, no, I feel like this is this person. Somebody is finally spending some time single or choosing to just be alone right now, not out there dating multiple people or who, if they were dating just one person, who they had like a toxic or just strictly sexual relationship with, they're not with that person anymore. They're kind of spending some time alone right now because somebody definitely has gone through an ending here. The Grim Reaper, a breakup, divorce, clearing away the old, cutting something, something or someone off. So somebody is maybe like has chosen to cut someone or multiple people off and choose to stay single because they view you as their perfect match. Great chemistry, highly compatible, quick connection. So they felt a, a very intense connection from you very early on. Anything else they need to know? Okay, we have fancy. I'm telling you guys, I don't know. This is what the, the message is for today. 
fanned out, available, no limits or restrictions, willingness to be vulnerable. This is how they're coming towards you now, but <laughs> uh, it's kind of giving a little too late, you know what I mean, for some of you. I mean, like I said, if this is your twin, y'all, y'all fig you you guys will figure it out. But this is how, like, you know, this is one of those situations where people say, you know how people say it's not all twins twin flames come together every lifetime? It's because of stuff like this. Because you and your twin meet, you're both you're one or both of you aren't ready. You, you, they're traumatizing you, you, you're traumatizing them or, you know, whatever the situation is, they're traumatizing you. They keep doing it because they're not learning their lesson. You may be learning your lesson. It's like, it's like, they. it's just, and then it's like, it gets maybe to the point where like one person starts feeling like, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I don't know if I can forgive that person. <sighs> it's just, yeah. So it's going to be different for all of you. I can already feel that some people probably aren't going to take this person back and move on. Um, others of you, just listen to what your inner, what you feel in your heart is right, okay? But they're coming towards you with this willingness to be vulnerable with you, and they're also coming towards you without all that baggage and all that burdens and restrictions and guardedness and limits and all that crap that they have before and if they were sit, they were take or in a relationship they're available now like you're what they want yeah somebody's watching you yeah i saw the page of swords somebody's wanting to get to know you more get closer to you they're watching you they're studying you yeah it's like this person unfortunately that you're dealing with guys this person is at their big age just now learning to love the right way and i know that may be hard for some of you guys to understand but that is true. But we have all seeing eye, truth, clarity, perspective. What about that? Time. So fleeting moments, losing track of time quicker than expected. That what? Yeah, someone's maybe fleeting moments. J did somebody not know if this was just temporary? Because this person's used to lust. You know, lust fades. Love does not, right? And I feel like this person is starting to realize that this is not going anywhere. You know what I mean? Like these feelings and emotions, like me and the collective spend time apart. I still feel strong for them, even stronger than it's like my feelings are always growing for them. So someone's starting to realize that this is a genuine love. And yeah, look at this. It's a celebration, victory, social events, parties, renewed enthusiasm. So how did, so, so again, tell me more about what this means for my twin flame collective. See, somebody is starting to realize too, that they're running out of time or somebody's feeling the pressure here. Yeah, somebody feels like they got to act quickly when it comes to you. Yeah, follow the signs and synchronicities. You are not alone. It's not an incident. So you guys could be seeing, seeing repeating numbers or synchronicities. They could be too. That's very common for the twin flame dynamic. We have Empress here. So fertility, nurture, reclaim your power, power, highly desirable. I told you. Maybe this person is feeling like because they know you're the Empress, they see this very clearly. They know that you probably get a lot of attention. That's probably probably also what's creating this urgency in them. Okay, we have the return. Yep, making them want to return. You're in this empress energy. Um, and it's like you're very in this very attractive energy, magnetic energy. The past returns, coming home, returning home. Yep. Wow, guys, forever yours, unbreakable bond, strong and stable relationship, a love to last a lifetime. So Mm, wow, we have ocean of tears here, though. Emotional loss, defeat, deep sadness, heartbreak, regrets, and mistakes. I'm telling you, heavy on the regrets and the mistakes. Somebody really regrets handling a, a connection or a bond like this the way that they did. We have ancient history. Someone you have a past with. Cost to see, narcissism, living in an illusion, superficial relationship. Yep, that's what they were dealing with. But now they're not. Yeah, I, I was just thinking that eclipse, eclipse season is really shifting things here. I'm telling you, this person's been holding back their emotions, but it's just becoming very heavy for them. So I feel like they're about to come in and... Uh, this person has been very, like, weary when it comes to you because they feel like you're very different from them or what they're used to. What is ancient history here for? Sacrifice? So, yeah, they're making some type of decision or sacrifice or giving up somebody from their past. Somebody that they have a past with. And for, to be able to get their shit together, align their priorities, must give up something to win a difficult decision. 
Yeah, things are changing. Yeah, they're cutting off a karmic, guys. I don't know what else to say about it. Karmic relationship, karmic situations. It, I feel like for some of you, it's more than one person. It wasn't even just one person they were dealing with. They were having very superficial relationships, like, you know, just being a player. If not, and they're realizing that that's not what they want anymore. And what's that mean for going forward? Wow, infinite abundance, prosperous life, unexpected windfalls, knowing your self-worth and value. Maybe this person is starting to realize, too, that they deserve better than whatever these connections they've been settling for or entertaining. Yeah, Queen B, ruler of their heart, standing out from the rest, a natural leader. It could be, or King B, whatever, if you want to say. Wow, a loyal companion, loyal and devoted. Now somebody wants to be loyal to you. You know what this is, guys? This person is starting to realize that um, they didn't feel deserving of you. It's like maybe now they're starting to step into an energy where they do feel deserving of you, but they didn't at some point. But now it's like they're, they are starting to realize like, that they deserve better than that now or they want better for themselves and now they all they want is you yep they need you guys needed this break or this time apart yeah what is that twin flame what is calm storm the hand of fate some of you guys like kind of stopped <sighs> how do we epiphany it's something about in the stillness when it came, what like the separation or the the lack of action or the lack of gave change things here. It led to it's like you kind of gave this to the divine. Fate events, faded relationship forces beyond your control. Yeah, you gave it to the divine, and it led to some type of epiphany here. Dig deep within for answers, sudden insight into reality, discovery, or realization. Yeah, left out in the cold, scared feet, ready to give up, okay? You know what is also probably happening? If this person's watching you, yeah, this person could be looking at your pictures. Somebody's feeling very abandoned by you. You know why? Because they kind of feel like you're not giving them any reaction. They feel like you're being very self-controlled, and it's it's like, you know, this person wants to, I knew the solar eclipse cart was going to come out. I'm telling you, something is happening because, because of eclipse season. We did have a solar eclipse on the 14th. Somebody realized something around that time that they couldn't replace you or something like that. Hard to find, one of a kind, irreplaceable. Yeah. And it's like they're starting to go through like a rebirth now. Dark night of the soul, self-discovery. Yep, spiritual awakening, breaking free and blooming, connecting with their higher self. Mm -hmm. But they're worried. Yep. Mm. Um, what else was I about to clarify? Give me a little more about why is it somebody's thinking about I feel like this is you guys. I'm telling you. It may seem like nothing is going on, but there's a lot going on. There's something brewing here, which I had a reading like this, like I don't even know, like a month ago. Something is brewing. And I've been saying for like the past like month, month and a half that this eclipse season was going to be very significant, specifically the solar eclipse, but the whole thing, the whole eclipse season is going to be very significant. There's a miracle unfolding here. Mil miracles are unfolding. Blessings are surrounding you. Luck is on your side. Somebody is like thinking back on the past though and feeling very negative. I feel like this is you guys. Somebody is feeling jealous. They do not want to lose you. I'm telling you, they feel like you're very beautiful. Look, you feel like you're looking good. Yep, romantic and sexual love. They feel like you're out there maybe sleeping or like, you know, having sex and exploring your desires. Yeah, while they're over there, not sure if they want to give up this addictions and whatever, codependent relationship, not taking any action. Tuh. Hmm. It's like, even if, the, even if you don't like want to just full blown get back together with this person, they're going to be like, can we please just be friends? I'll, I'll even settle for being friends first. I'm going to like, you know, I want to earn your trust back. Blah, 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 blah. Somebody is mad though. I'm telling you, I feel like this is you guys because you feel like this person, you're, you're in this energy where you're ready to give up on this person because you're thinking about everything that they did to you. I'm telling you right now, you're pretty mad at this person. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, look, not work. You don't feel like this person is worth your time and energy and effort anymore. Mm hmm. Give one more card. You feel like nothing good will come of this connection or dealing with this person anymore, even though some of you guys may be tempted to take this offer from this person. But some of you guys are going to choose to hold back from this person. Yeah, opening your. I don't know. With that card, though, eventually some of you guys may. <laughs> eventually open back up to this person but yeah feels like home sense of security comfort zone man yeah i'm telling you i feel like at some point you guys are going to choose to maybe open back up to this person again but yeah for right now i feel like you guys are going to be very guarded towards them maybe some of you guys are just really like unless you come towards me with exactly what I want and what I deserve. I don't want anything from you. Like, you're going to really, yeah, they're going to be, somebody is trying to come in and offer you, uh, give you a proper offering though, but mm, just be careful of this person trying to come in and offer you, try to tell, mm, they, they are a little bit manipulative. Maybe it is best that you guys do stay guarded and hold back from this person until they come in and give you the recognition that you deserve. Um, it's almost like to, to get the, the, the outcome that you want in the situation, it's going to require that you, you know, you really uh, stand your ground and kind of like don't let your guard down so quickly with this person. You kind of have to like, you're going to kind of have to like, if any, if at all, let this person in very slowly and slowly like, you know, open up to them or, you know, I see it happening, but with this healing heart energy, opening your heart, healing all the emotional pain. I don't know. For some of you, you guys are just thinking that you want to kind of like maybe keep your options open, be open to new love coming in, open to new love coming in, open to 